Little GTO, you really look in Three deuces and a four speed. The City of Loveland Transportation Engineers, the same people that brought you roundabouts, want you to consider a new, unusual traffic flow concept called a Continuous Flow Intersection, or CFI, which has been selected for Madison Avenue at US 34 Eisenhower Boulevard. A Continuous Flow Intersection is new and unusual, and this video will show you how it works. First, let me tell you why it's needed. Hi, I'm Tom Nostman, a public works engineer working to make traffic flow more efficiently at US 34 and Madison Avenue. US 34 Eisenhower Boulevard is the lifeblood of our community. It's the main traffic artery from east to west from Sentara to Rocky Mountain National Park and it's suffering from impaired circulation. The flow of traffic on US 34 and the streets bringing traffic to it has become congested and will only get worse with no action. Anytime a traffic light stops traffic on 34 to allow side street traffic to flow across or onto 34, the flows stop. Madison Avenue intersection, a major feeder to US 34, is a fine example. At busy times on Madison, motorists may have to wait two and sometimes three cycles to make a left turn. Lengthening the Madison left turn arrow helps those drivers but at the expense of US 34 traffic. With a conventional left turn lane and arrow system, everyone else at the intersection sits and waits while a few cars make their left turns. Plus, there's a dead time when the left turners are stopping and the through traffic has not yet started. No cars anywhere are moving then. With the CFI arrangement, left turners and through traffic are moving simultaneously in both directions and the left turn dead time is eliminated. Let me show you how it works. The animation you're about to see was produced for a CFI intersection in Utah. But imagine this is the intersection of Madison and Eisenhower heading south. Making a left turn will be as easy as one, two, three. Let's take a quick look. Step one, cars turning left will start by lining up in the left turn lanes just like a normal intersection, only a little further back. Step 2. When the left turn light turns green, you'll drive across the oncoming lanes to all new lanes on the other side of the road. Step 3. Another left turn signal will then tell you when you can go ahead and make your left turn. It's that easy. Now let's look at this as if you're making a left turn from Eisenhower onto northbound Madison. Making a left turn from Eisenhower onto Madison is the same as a normal intersection. The only difference is that you'll need to watch for another light just past the intersection on Madison. If you're the last car to making this left turn, you might see a red light here. This is the light that allows left turning cars to cross safely in front of you. Right turns are really easy as you can see here from the Madison perspective. Just make your turn, merge with traffic, and keep right on going. CFI intersections are used today in Colorado Springs, Salt Lake City, New Orleans, and elsewhere. More than 50 CFI intersections exist in Mexico. How much will it cost? About the same as a conventional intersection improvement. Also, the CFI has less impact on neighboring businesses, plus fewer environmental concerns. When will this be built? Construction is scheduled to begin in July 2010 and end in November of the same year. But there are many steps ahead before the shovels will hit the ground on this project, including multiple opportunities for the public to get involved. We'll keep you informed. Drive safely and friendly. Thank you for watching. I'm the coolest thing around. Little buddy gonna shut you down. When I turn it on, wind it up, blow it out, GTO.